On a whirlwind tour of Florida, President Kennedy visits Cape Canaveral for a first-hand look at the mighty Saturn I missile. This vehicle will carry a 19,000-pound payload into space next month, a payload larger than any the Russians have launched. At takeoff, it will have a thrust of a million and a half pounds, again, far ahead of Russian achievements. Then there's a quick helicopter flight to sea, where the president will witness a firing of a Polaris underwater missile from the submerged submarine Andrew Jackson. The observation ship is named, aptly enough, the Observation Island. The President's visit is regarded as an effort to focus attention on the nation's space program and speed appropriation bills in Congress. The President watches with close interest as the Polaris breaks through the surface of the sea and heads down the Atlantic Missile Range. Under his personal flag, the Commander-in-Chief discusses the technical aspects of the shot an informal portrait of an ex-Navy man in action.